Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your game shark back with a brand new video. So in this video, I'm going to review the latest version of Lauren Kernel V13 stable version. This is also named as New Daily stable version. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel. Without any further ado, let's get started. Before we continue into this video, make sure you have joined the telegram group of Lauren Kernel. There is also an off-topic group, I have put all the links in the description. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, if you have any queries, feel free to ask me on Instagram or in the comment section. As you can see, I am in the latest version of Lauren Kernel V13 New Delhi stable version. I am using the overclock built with 69Hz display. I am currently using Rome KT Pro VIP V12 Gaming 03 VN Beta. You can download the latest version of Lauren Kernel from the Lauren Kernel official website. Just tap on the link which is provided in the description box. You will be redirected to this website and here you can find an option called Lauren Kernel version 13 New Delhi. It is released on 19th of July. Here you can see the change logs and the notes which is given. Please go through these and you can find what is fixed. The major fixes are the UI reset and the screen freezing issue. Here you can find two major builds, one is OC built and another is stock built. There is also available for Q frames and Pi frames too. Here I have downloaded overclock built with 69Hz display. Flashing the latest version of Lauren kernel is as simple as previous versions. Developer recommends clean flashing so all you need to do is dirty flash a ROM and flash the latest version of Lauren kernel. Talking about the issues of this kernel after flashing it, the first issue which was reported was the POCO logo would reboot 3-4 to four times. I would say that this is not a boot loop and let it reboot it normally. If you are again facing it, make sure you hard reboot your phone. The second issue which was faced was the fixed CPU temperature. There is a simple fix for this, just shut down your device for a few minutes and reboot your system. I have already reported this bugs to the developer and he will be fixing it in the next upcoming builds. Let's talk about some benchmark scores. In Geekbench 5 mark test I got a score of 522 and 2322. I also performed a 3D mark test and in 3D mark test I got a score of 5388 and 4929. The maximum temperature I got while doing this test was 42 degrees Celsius. Now talking about the PUBG performance. The PUBG performance was really great using the latest version of Lauren kernel. I would say that the latest version of Lauren kernel is performing much more better than previous version. Now while performing the smoke test, the lowest FPS I got was 41. As you can see the KF mark reading says I have got the lowest as 41 FPS. While playing a normal TDM, the average FPS was 59 FPS and I think the FPS was stable in bootcamp too as they dropped up to 55 to 60. Talking about the touch latency, the touch response was really good and the reflexes were pretty fast as usual. I would say that you must try the latest version of Lauren Kernel. Now talking about heat management and battery drain, the maximum heat I got while gaming was 42 degrees celsius and the active drain was approximate 23 to 24 percent per hour and while normal usage it was up to 7 to 8 percent per hour. If you are a competitive gamer, I would recommend you to flash the latest version of Lauren kernel with the inbuilt thermals. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye bye.